Hey team, Curtis Johnson here, President Managed by Stats. And uh, today we have a short little video for you. Uh, Philip Jepson and I are going over some of the new tools that Managed by Stats put out for anyone who is trying to find new products for um, Amazon FBA, as well as optimizing your Amazon listing. So with that, check it out. This is Philip Jepson with Managed by Stats, and I've got Curtis Johnson with me here. That's right. So I am both, I work on the marketing side for Managed by Stats, but also I'm doing a show called How to Hunt a Whale on the Amazon, where we're starting brand new brands from the beginning with Amazon and working through. So, yeah, so, that's why so, I'm here. So Curtis is a guinea pig that's basically <laughs> documenting pig. either his success or his failure. Absolute, yeah, <laughs> one way or the other. <laughs> Um, and uh, so we want to show you just a little bit about uh, MBS, what's new in MBS. Um, so kind of the first thing is we, we did um, over the last year and a half, we've kind of done successive upgrades in just the look and feel mm -hmm. um, to make it look much more modern and sleek and uh, lots of white space and stuff like yes. that. Uh, without losing uh, the data density, that was kind of one of the big plus points that people loved about MBS. Right. Uh, so that is still there. So all the stuff that was great is still there but um, it doesn't look like it's 1980s anymore. Right. <laughs> and um, uh, you know, that, that's a good thing. Yeah. Um, so uh, really quick, I mean, some of the things, so on every page in, M in MBS now, you will find that the header is kind of constant and the menu is over there right. on the left. And what you have up here is you have just, you know, your account stuff, you have switching between modules inside of uh, MBS, notifications on new things, the newsletter, stuff like that that we come out with. Uh, you have the whole help area in here and switching between themes and you know we're beginning to add additional languages so right. that's also in there uh, live chat stuff like that and then we have the guides which uh, for most pages we have guides that basically show you what's what on the page right and sort of a step-by-step um, -step walkthrough yeah exactly and it's you know when something new happens on a page we kind of throw up a guide that notifies you that there's something new here that you should know about um, and then over here on the left, we have the main menu, and um, we're going to focus on the catapult section. Right. Because catapult I mean, basically means, you know, take take something that's not really going yet and catapult it into high volume. Right. And we figured this would be a good set of tools for you guys to see because these have only been finished, I guess, in the last month or two, right? Um, for the most part, maybe three yeah, months? Two, three months. Two, three months. Yeah. So for some of you guys who maybe have seen Managed by Stats before, these are tools that you probably haven't come across yet. Exactly. Good. So inside of Catapult, uh, the first one is Finder. So that's kind of what we already have up here. And um, it normally starts out with just um, a, a screen like this. So there's nothing selected. Um, and this essentially allows you to just do a quick search through one or multiple categories, right? And uh, before you start with this, you kind of, uh, there's a little bit of things you can do over here. So you can, if you prefer metric, just set up metric first. Mm -hmm. Um, and uh, otherwise just leave it with the default, which is, you know, imperial, yeah. um, pounds and ounces and stuff. If you want to show product titles and images, um, you can turn those on as well. If you do that kind of in the middle of a search, it takes just a little bit of, you know, sure. uh, refresh screen time. Um, so you can turn those on and then uh, pick your category or categories, right? So I'm just going to do a health and household here, but you could do this with multiple categories at once if you want to. And what it does, it allows you to just very rapidly find out what is there inside of the category or categories that meet your criteria, right? right? Uh, so what you see over here is you see BSR, so bestseller rank. So, you know, this is the best selling part of inside of health and household, and it'll give you how many reviews it has, what's the average star rating, the price, um, the sale price, if there's a different sale price, right. and then you know the dimensions and the weight, the number of monthly sales, and the uh, monthly revenue, right? And um, with that, you can go in and say, okay, so I really am interested only in things that have at least 300 reviews and maybe not more than 3,000 reviews, right? right? Keep it competitive. Um, and uh, yeah, exactly. So I did 30,000 there, but yeah. <laughs> um, so, um, uh, and it'll just, you know, make sure that everything fits within that. And then um, you can go uh, the price, you know, I'm interested in the, you know, um, uh, impulse buy range right. of 20, 20 to 80. 75 sure. or something like <laughs> that, right? Um, so you put those in and uh, you will see that the number of products uh, just dwindles every time you're putting in a another filter, right? right? 
And uh, let's say you don't want anything that's more than 10 inches long in the longest uh, dimension. Let's, uh, well, we, well, let's go in here and just say, you know, um, we want at least $50, uh, right? To just kind of, so now you're down to 3,300 products, right? And- uh, Oh, this, there we go, this, down to 300, 324. Right, and if you take maybe uh, 1,000 um, as the top BSR, um, and that will, so you've got 355 products left, right? Then you can go, you know, I want um, just uh, something that has to do with um, meals, right? So it has to have the word meal mm -hmm. in it. Um, and that, that'll severely restrict it. That's yeah. just products that have- Top four items. <laughs> exactly. And that uh, you can exclude certain, you know, if that's a brand you don't want in there, then you can do that as well. So right. you can very rapidly take an entire category or multiple categories and just say, these are the specifications or the filters that I want to apply right. and you will see the data right there. Right. So super, super fast tool to do research inside the categories. Awesome. All right. So that is the finder. We have a kind of a sister tool to that, um, which is the MBS Retriever. It's right. a Chrome plugin. And I've been using this thing for I would say probably three weeks at this point, and it's been very simple. Like there are a lot of other tools by other companies which are also significantly more expensive. Actually, it's hard to compare free to any cost at all. So yes. yeah, <laughs> this is actually a free tool for any any person. They don't even have to be an MBS user for the majority of the functionality. So, exactly. but I found it to be very useful. Yeah, it, it, it's a nice and simple tool. We'll show you how to use it. Um, if you don't have it yet, you just go in here to install MBS Retrieval. Mm -hmm. um, that's gonna take you to, or we can, we can click on it. Um, It'll take you out here to um, the Chrome store, right? And then you can uh, install it. So I have it um, already installed, so I could remove it, and then it would give me the option yeah. to, to reinstall it, right? Uh, but that's a very fast way of doing that. Um, and I'll just close this again. Otherwise, you can obviously just go to the Chrome store and search MBS Retriever, right. and you'll be able to pull it up that way. And uh, once you install it, you'll have this little icon up here. So this is the MBS Retriever icon. And from here, you can go in and look at the listing and you can look at permissions and stuff like that. It's just housekeeping stuff. Um, it doesn't actually do anything until you go to Amazon and do some kind of a search, right? right? So you can either search down to a specific product or you can just do a search on a search term. Mm -hmm. And um, once you have that, you'll see that this goes orange and then you click on it and it's gonna bring up the data on those products. And a good way of using it is to then load several more pages, mm -hmm. right? So I'll just load two pages here so we can have that. Because the more products you pull in before you do your filters, the more stuff you have to filter on, right? Exactly. So, so if you only use page one, you might not get very many results. But right. if you do multiple pages loaded in here uh, before you do filters, then um, you have more data to work with. So right now you'll see up here there's three ads on page one, right. so speak, three sponsored results. That's these three right here, mm -hmm. right? Uh, if you don't want to see ads, you just click on this and it removes the ads. Um, if you want to, uh, instead of looking at, you know, reading all of this, you just want to see rapidly. I mean, so if you hover over, you can see what it is, mm -hmm. right? But you can also click on the images and it'll show you the same list here. And you can go, well, that is not the same kind of product. Right. And this is something completely different and blah, blah, you know, so you very, Visually, very rapidly, you can make changes to your list. Mm -hmm. And then when you go back out of images, those things have been removed from the list. Right. Uh, if there's stuff you manually want to remove, you just click on this little X over here. Now that you kind of, you, you, you collected all the data that you want, mm -hmm. you have it in there, now you can start using the filters. So if you click on the filter button up here, you'll get the filters. And now you can, um, you can go ahead and you can manually just remove stuff again if you know if the filters haven't already removed it. Mm -hmm. um, you can say, you know, I only want stuff that has the word Tom's in it, and it'll remove everything that right. doesn't have that. And if, let's say there's a brand in here that um, you want to get rid of, so we have BBQ Croc here, BBQ Croc. So if it has that in it, it excludes that, mm -hmm. right? Um, same thing with brands over here, you can very easily get rid of anything that has, you know dragon in it and that disappears mm -hmm. uh, price point you can say you know it needs to be at least $20 and at you know at the most $80 mm -hmm. and it'll just filter that for you um, and then you can go you know uh, 
sales wise um, rating you can you know do all of these in here you can do BSR rank it needs to be you know between 300 and 3000 and it'll now down, down, down to down exactly what you want <laughs> right and again if you'd loaded maybe you know five or six pages here then you would have a bigger list right. than that right so that's a very fast way of doing that stuff if you want to see averages for what you have you just click on the averages yeah. it'll show those uh, in and out there's a bunch of free training that you can get up here so we'll get free training and help and um, then down the bottom we're showing you how much you loaded how many pages how many products if you want to get back the stuff that you've already filtered out you can say show hidden and it'll bring back the hidden products right right and then if you want to download stuff then you go over here and that'll do an export to csv right so super simple tool very very fast right. and you can use it on any search on amazon even if you just go down to open up an individual product page it'll bring up the data for you there as well and the cool thing on that is that again other than maybe show the history feature, other than the history feature, this tool is completely free. So the this here is the is very useful data. So you can you know see if this is a seasonal product or something like that. But otherwise, other than you know mainly the history, is there any other functions that come with the page? I think it's just no, that. It's right? just the history. So there's a yeah. BSI history, there's a price history. So that's all built in. Right. If you have MBS, mm -hmm. so that's kind of the paid version of this that has all that. Um, yeah, but excluding those history graphs, free. the whole thing is free yeah. and super, super useful. Um, it's amazing. Yeah. And, and even at the paid version that you could just do a simple MBS starter plan, which is $20 a month. It's compared to $100 for some of these other companies. It's, it's definitely a much lower price point for what you're doing. Yep. Yeah. So great tool. Uh, we hope lots of you um, find this useful and if you have any feedback on things that we could add to it. Absolutely yes, no. add that in as well. So that's the finder tool. Um, the next tool we'll look at is the Keyword Scout. Mm -hmm. So in Keyword Scout, um, you're basically doing keyword research. That's what it's all about, right? And so I have a product pulled up here. Um, if you've done stuff in the past, you can just go in here and look at your history and you can say, I wanna see that one again, right? And so I did uh, a search here on the Alaska Bear. Um, so that's the agent I put in. Right. And it'll show you down here that you have 1,224 keywords that apply to this, um, this product yeah. as seen from Amazon. Right? right. So this is Amazon looking at you know which keywords apply. And uh, you can say, well, I want to look at some competing products. And so we came up with a really good way of finding competing products that actually are kind of the same For kind real. of product. <laughs> uh, not just a random list of stuff in the same category, but something that actually is you know very much the same kind of thing, right? And uh, you don't have to pick all of them. You can just say, you know, I want to include that one and this one and this one and that one, right? And then include those in uh, the results here. So now you'll get more keywords than you had before. So from 1,200, you now went up to about 1,700 keywords, yeah. right? Uh, so that's including those. Then um, you can go in here and just sort them by keyword rank. So this is keyword search rank. Um, so if it's a small number, it's good because it's kind of towards the top of the right. top Amazon 1 million keywords. Right. Um, and if it's got a high number, then, you know, it's, it's kind of at the bottom. Yeah, um, low frequency. And again, I, I tend to go over here and do word count, um, minimum two words in, in the keywords. The, the one character or the one word keywords tend to be one hard to rank for and, right. and they tend to be generic, right? right. So um, I tend to do that. Um, then what you can do is you can do the same thing you could do in the retriever. You can filter stuff, right? So you can say it has to have the word sleep in it. So uh, if we include sleep, we go from about 1,700 keywords down to 425, right. right? And then maybe there's a brand we want to exclude or apnea, for example. Um, we know that's not sleep mask. It's a different kind of mask. Right. So get rid of those. And that took us down to 415. Mm -hmm. um, Let's say we want, you know, we want to be in the top 30,000 keywords, a keyword rank, right? right? And now you just narrowed it down super Five, fast yeah. to something like that. that, you know, so you, with your filters, you can very rapidly get a list of words that make sense. And then you can go in here, okay, Bose sleep buds. Yeah. Well, that's not really <laughs> not the mask. So yeah. you, can click on, you can click on the X here and get rid of it, right. just take it out of the list. Or if you want to kind of know, does this actually make sense? Mm -hmm. Then you can just click on this little thing and it'll do a search on Amazon, 
and show you what comes up and you can go, okay, yeah, so this definitely is not a sleep mask. Right. Um, and you go back over here and you just get rid of it. Right. Right. And once you have the list, and I mean, typically, I, you know, I, I'll get more than this. I'll, I'll look for 20 to 50 keywords maybe. Right. right? Then I send them to the distiller. Mm -hmm. Chandler has a couple things to say. <laughs> Chandler the dog has an opinion. Yes. Um, so now you end up with a list of keywords here that you can then, you can either uh, detect phrases automatically or you can turn it off and then it's just words. Right. Right. Um, you can remove ASINs, duplicates, numbers, those kinds of things. You can replace particular search strings over here with something else if you mm -hmm. want to. And once you've kind of narrowed this down to exactly what you want, you send this over to Wordsmith, mm -hmm. which is the next tool. Right. And uh, then you pick the products that you are working on here. So I'm going to go down and say, okay, so I'm working on this sleep mask product right here. And now it gives you the list over here of the keywords that you just You're brought in, already. right? And then it shows you, this is in the title once, it's in the bullet points once, it's three times in the description, it's one time in the search terms, and it's not in the subject matter fields in the back end. Mm -hmm. And there's six mentions, but you can see these other ones um, are not in there at all, right? So sleeping mask is not part of the description or anything in here. If you go over here and you change this sleep mask to sleep ping mask, um, now it'll see that it now showed up once in right. the description, right? So you can rapidly look at what you're missing over here. Um, you can say, I only, want, I only show keywords that I'm missing. So now you have, okay, these are the ones that are left, remaining right. that you need to get into your product description, right. right? You tweak your title, your bullet points, your description to have exactly what you want. Once you're done with that, you can either just save it in MBS, you can copy and paste it into Amazon if you want, or you can use the export button and that'll export it right back up to Amazon and update your listing right. live in real time, right? And then um, it also saves it in MBS right. always. So uh, let's say you want to try something for a week or two, you can go in here, make the changes, upload them to Amazon, look at what happens. Do you get more sales? Do you get less sales? Right. If you need to go back, to um, switch it. You just go back into your history here and find the earlier version and say, upload that to Amazon. Right. Right. Just so like you that. can really do all your um, uh, management of your listings from right here. From right there. And this is also a really good time to be doing something like this. Since we're in the beginning of December, we're going into the Christmas rush. So an optimized listing is obviously going to pop up a greater number of times than one that's missing some of these keywords. So yep. especially because these tools along with Retriever are in the MBS starter package, which again is only 20 bucks a month. So you're getting all of this at this time. This is a great time to be using something like this. So, yeah, and if you yeah. already have MBS, the full MBS, yeah, of, of course it's included. There's no extra cost for any right. of these tools. Um, just stuff that was requested that we've made available. And um, yeah, we're, we're pretty happy with it. Perfect. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed that. Uh, to wrap up, make sure that you are subscribed. Uh, make sure you hit the bell to get any notifications of anything else we produce, because as I'm sure some of you guys have seen, we've got How to Hunt a Whale in the Amazon. We've got a number of really, really awesome interviews coming up. So make sure again to uh, hit subscribe and uh, hit that little bell to get any future notifications. Other than that, we'll see you guys later. Take care. Mm -hmm.